let's walk it up. Hey, what's going on guys? This is KC. I am back again with another exciting video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to take basic chords out of the box, all right? And not just that, but I'm going to show you how to think outside of the box, all right? So, for example, a basic chord like this, now as you can see, this is a basic F sharp minor 6 chord, and what I'm going to do is open it up. So what I can do is put the F sharp here. Now watch this. <laughs> a little bit of a stretch. All right, but if you don't want, you can just play like this. Now, I'm going to show you some nice little moves that you can do as well. All right, and that's all coming from this basic F sharp minor 6 chord. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give you four different examples real quick so that you can see how to use something like this and how to think outside of the box with chords that you're already playing. All right, so here we go. This is the basic chord right here. Resolve it. Very simple. It's gonna get a little bit more difficult. Open it up. Here's that chord again. Now let's go to a different key, all right? You see the chord? <laughs> Open it up. Let's walk it up. All right, this one has a calypso feel. There's that chord, did you hear it? Open it up. Let's go gospel. All right, here we go. Here's that chord. There it is. <laughs> and all I'm doing there is it's like a kind of a minor pentatonic. So basically all that is is two notes here, three notes here, and you repeat the pattern. Two notes, three notes, and you just roll it up. All right, and that's really over the F sharp. All right, so you get the F sharp minor six with an added nine, because there's a nine. All right, so anyway, that's just a little bonus. All right, so let's jump into this lesson. We're gonna have a lot of fun, man. I'm super excited about this. Now, before I forget, you all know I like to include free tools so that way you can practice along and study along with me. And it is for a limited time. So that's the reason why I encourage you guys to subscribe and to give me a thumbs up and also click the notification bell so that way you're aware of when these new videos come out. Let's jump into this uh, video here. If you notice, this chord here is a F sharp minor six. Now, why do they call it F sharp minor six? Is because, well, here's F sharp, and this is F sharp major, all right? But we wanna make it minor, so you minor the third, or lower the third, or flat the third, so you get what they call a F sharp minor. Now, why do they call it F sharp minor six? Well, here's one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, here's the minor and you play all that together and that's how you get the F sharp minor six. So it's nothing, nothing fancy, it's just what it is, F sharp minor six. Now, step two, what we did was we opened this chord up and what we did was we created a tritone in the left hand. Now you're probably wondering, what is a tritone, all right? A tritone is basically, um, uh, they call it augmented fourth or sharp four. Now let me be very simple, very plain, just in case you're an absolute beginner. In the key of C here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. One, two, three, four. Augmented fourth or sharp four means to take the four scale degree up a half step. So this is called a tritone. It's called a C tritone. Um, I mean, I don't know anything else to say about it. <laughs> it's just a sharp four. So if we start here in F sharp, here is one, 
So one, two, three, four, sharp to four. So this is called a F sharp tritone, all right? Now, if you notice in this chord, we have a F sharp minor six. Now let's look at this chord closely. Again, I'm trying to teach you how to think outside of the box. So you have this chord right here. Let's see if we can find the tritone. Is that a tritone? Nope, that's one, two, three, four, five. Let's look here. That's not a tritone, that's a minor third. So let's go from here. That's a major third, so there's no tritone there. Let's try this. Nope, that's a major six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where's the tritone at, guys? Well, let's play this chord one more time. Here we go. There's the tritone, it was an A tritone. Now the cool thing about tritones, you can flip them. So you can do something like this. You can move the A up to the top and then it becomes an E flat tritone. Let's move the E flat up to the top. It goes back to an A tritone. So that's how tritones work. So what I did was I played this basic chord, this basic F sharp minor six chord, and I said, let me find the tritone to open this up. So there's my tritone. Well, I could have, mm, that's okay. You hear a lot of guys do this. <laughs> All right, that sounds kind of corny though. So I said, let me move the tritone down here. So now I have an E flat tritone, and I'm gonna play that same F sharp minor chord and I'm gonna move it down here. And it just sounds so good, especially when you add that F sharp. All right, now if you notice in my examples, I didn't always put this chord over F sharp. Now I'm gonna let you guys in a little secret. This is how to take your basic chords out of the box and how to think outside of the box. Shh, this is our little secret. Play basic chords and change the bass notes and just play around and see what your ear creates. So I'm a fan of music theory, that's great, but sometimes I like to use my natural ear to see where it takes me. So if you listen to this chord right here, F sharp minor six, I'm gonna put it over the F sharp. That sounds like it could go here. All right, very simple. And that's in the key of C sharp. Four minor, which is the four minor chord to the three. All right, so that's what my ear heard. Now watch this, I can also hear this. Mm. Where does that take me? Ah, there we go. And that's a C sharp major chord over the A flat. All right, so you hear a lot of guys do this. All right. Or you hear guys do this. All right, so I just basically played that chord over a B. But if you listen closely, uh, sounds like a jazz chord. So you gotta use your ear. All right, sounds kind of corny though, all right? But watch what I'm gonna do though. If you listen to this, and put the, e, the F sharp at the top. So instead of thinking in the key of B, I'm thinking the key of F sharp. Blues. All right, so here we go. Here's my F sharp nine with the 13. This very famous chord. You guys have all heard this chord before. All right. And then we're gonna take it to the one, two, four. Now, Normally we'll play a chord like this, a B913. So a F sharp, let me slow it down to a B13 or 913. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna play that same chord. All right, all right, there we go. So we got our B9. Now let's find another version. Now that was actually, I think, was that my first version? I think that was like my second version. So basically you have F sharp to the four, one, two, three takes you to the, like that little bluesy, all right? But what do we do? We open the chord up. So we have this here. Let's open the chord up. Ah, sounds a lot better. All right, so that little lick there was. All right, so I'm just giving you something to give you that passing. All right, there we go. All right, so now let's take that same chord and we did something kind of fancy with it. We did a chromatic movement. Now, again, this is our tritone and this is our minor chord on top. 
So let's move into it. So I'm gonna move the tritone down a whole step. So these are little secrets that you hear a lot of gospel musicians, a lot of jazz musicians do. They'll play a chord and move it, they'll work their way back and then move it up to the, where they wanna be. So we wanna be here, all right? But let's work our way back, all right? Let me show you what I did there. I moved the tritone down a whole step. So here's my tritone down to C sharp. Keep the same chord here, now watch this. Now that's not where I wanna be, even though it does work, I want to get back to that here. So I'm going to move this back down a whole, uh, a whole step, but I'm going to go back chromatically. So that's why you hear a lot of gospel musicians. Now I did a little slur there, slow it down. First one, second one, third one. Now what I'm going to do is to go to the third chord, here's one, two, slur into it. All right, here we go, let's do it again. All right, and so that's over that B. Now I wanna work my way back to where I wanna be, which is There we go. So now we got our F sharp minor chord again, all right? So let's do that again. Walk up, add the slur. All right, so instead of playing this, you can open up to this, or you can open up to this. All right, the other example I did, I did something like, uh, I was in like B flat minor, nice little clip, so. All right, so uh, that was from James Hall. I forget what song it was. But anyway, so now I'm in B flat minor. And we did like a little calypso. We did something like a ba da da That's what I, so my bass line will be. C to the F to the B. Now, let's look at this chord. I played it over F. <laughs> So you want to be able to experiment with your basic chords, move them to different bass notes and see what is what does it sound like? Does that work? Does that work? Ah, that something can come out of that. So what I did was I played this F sharp minor 6 chord over F. <laughs> All right. So, so if it goes over F, where does that take me? Do to probably to the mm, I, I that's just what fit for me. All right. So let's open that up. Woo, that's a stretch. All right, I'll do that again for you. Now again, you don't have to be advanced. I'm not expecting you to do all that, all right? But this is the chord. This is the same F sharp minor chord. Open it up over, over the F. I could just hear that top note. And then we'll go to the, F, uh, to the B flat minor chord. All right, and it's B flat minor nine with the 11. Let me play that out. So, so you can hear this here. And then to our chord, and then to our B flat minor chord. All right. And again, if you can't do these stretches, you're kind of um, you know beginner. Just do this. Here's the first one, second one, third one. This is for the very beginner. This is called a seven three six progression. For my jazz people, it's a two five one in B flat minor. But for my churchy people, my gospel musicians. You've seen my 72 chord progression video that went viral. It's a 736 in the key of C sharp. All right, here we go. Seven to the three. F sharp minor over that F to the B flat minor. All right, so if you're a little bit more advanced, you can do something like this. Seven and then three. There's that. There's that chord. I just didn't play that one because you might not be that advanced yet. And then we'll go to something like this. Yeah, there we go. Keep it simple. Let's do that again. Number one, that's my seven to the three to the six. 
all right? Now, if you want to get a little bit more advanced, all right, we'll do something like this. There we go. <laughs> all right, and then the, the that's a seven to the three is this. All right, do that again. To the three. Let's see what I do there. I open that up. There we go. Woo. Build a storyline. Go back to it. All right, there we go. All right, so enough about that one. I don't want to spend too much time on it, but I'm just giving you some, I'm just being an open book. All right, or open box. <laughs> so, uh, so that's what I did there. So we did that little clip. So, and again, I'll probably create some kind of slow motion so you guys could learn all the licks and things that I played. I don't know. We'll we'll see. Um, let's go to the very last example. The very last example. We went to church, I believe. We did something like this. All right. You hear a lot of gospel music. This. Now, I'm gonna break this down, all right? So let's take some time. This is in the key of C sharp, all right? So we're in C sharp. All right, and I think I broke that down in the expand series. All right, so we're in C sharp. All right, and in that expand series, y'all know I do everything in every key. <laughs> so uh, that's kind of how that goes, man. I don't. I want to teach something and be able to show you how to play it in every key. All right. So anyway, in the key of C sharp, we did something like this. So you can see that's a C sharp over A flat. And then you're going to do an A flat over the F sharp. And then C sharp over the F. And then watch this. Here's that chord. Ah, so now we see this F sharp chord, we're going to put it over an E flat. All right, let's do it again. This is again for beginners. So I like to call this a one over five, because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, one chord over five. Five over four, because one, two, three, four, five is A flat over the fourth scale degree in C sharp, which is F sharp. So A flat over F sharp, and then a one over three. And then I'm going to do that four minor chord over the two, which is the F sharp over the A, over the E flat. All right, so here we go. All right, there we go. So let's open that up. Let's see if we can do something like this. Again, I'm, I'm experimenting here. I'm just trying to give my intermediate musician something. So we'll do something like this. So this will be chord number one. I'm just opening it up, guys, okay? And then, here we go. And then chord number three. Maybe add something. There we go. And then we'll do something like this. Yeah, we'll do that. I like that. Because this is the F sharp minor chord. I'm just, all right? So that's another way. Let's go to another example that I did. I think I did something like this. <laughs> so let's do this. C sharp over A flat. And then move it up. Now let me slow that down. That's an A flat chord. Slow it down. Take it up. Do it again. Number one. Number two. Take that up a half step. One more half step. First chord. Second is like an F sharp, but I'm gonna take the F sharp out. So I did this. A flat over F sharp. Back to that C sharp over that uh, F, and then we can go to that chord. All right, that F sharp minor six chord. All right, now what, how, what else did we do? We did this. Now, when I did this, you can add another tritone right there, all right? 
Do you guys see that tritone? Where is the tritone? Right here. E over the, uh, the A flat is over that. All right? So it would sound like this. Over this. All right? And then what we're going to do is... <laughs> now, y'all remember, the first chord is this. We opened it up to do this. So that would be this. All right, but what we did was do our walk up. All right, hopefully you can see that. And that's over the E flat. Let me, let me play this, let me play this for you guys slow, just so that, just in case you want this gospel type of sound. And then I did this little move. You hear the guys do this a lot of, that's a diminished seventh chord. And then go to our chord that we like to play now, our F sharp minor six. All right. Or, all right. And then of course you know you can walk that up. All right, so again, I don't want to delay the time. You all know that I'm all about time management and maximizing our time, but hopefully I've taken enough time to show you guys some creative ways to open up basic chords that you're already playing, play that chord, change the bass note up, all right? Tell me what you, what you come up with, and then uh, find out where it can go, all right? So when you take that chord out of the box, come out of your thinking, all right? So think outside of the box, play that chord, change the bass, and see where you can take it. And uh, I know I said it earlier, but I wanna say it again today, uh, that today is a new day, it's a new life, it's a new opportunity to become a better you. I love you guys so, so very much. Thank you so much for your comments and your support and uh, just always giving me the encouraging word. You don't know how much that means to me. It means so much to me and I love you guys for it so much. Thank you.